What's up guys, this is Sebastian Jabazi here, and I'm here with episode 8 in our Machine 101 tutorial series. Um, this tutorial is going to be about effects. Um, effects are something that I think is are are very important in Machine because um, the stock sounds, I feel, are not... I don't think anything is enough without effects. Um, I think every beat you have should should have your own feel to it, something that no one can really just buy a program out of the box and just automatically duplicate it. So um, effects are a big, big thing for me. And I'm going to show you some of my um, personal favorites right now. Um, so basically, I have this beat right here. And um, here's what it sounds like right now. I'm going to basically show you guys how I got there. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna take all the effects off. So if I go here, I'm gonna show you that I have Camel Crusher, which is a VST um, plugin. It's it's something you can download. Um, let me go back over here. Let me go to this last one. I know this one. Yeah, let me go to D. Yep. All right, so here's what it sounds like without the effects. <laughs> That's a very big difference. So I'm gonna start with this top one right here. So right here, let me mute. Let me mute this sound. Um, shift, omit, mute. Just this. Oh, not, I'm sorry. Solo this. So I have this little. I have this little VST I plugged. I, I downloaded, um, and I, this is the sound that it produces. Um, And when I add the effect back in, listen to the difference. It gives it, it gives it a bit of room, like it gives it a big, uh, a fuller effect, something that it seems more um, real, more believable. Um, so that's why I use that metaverb. Um, I like I like to use metaverb, as you guys are gonna, probably going to realize. I'm um, right here. I have these drums. Let's 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 give these drums a listen real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the EQ. EQ is something I definitely do a lot. I mean, I did I do, usually do it last because I feel like it is the last step. Um so I'm going to actually I'm just going to show you an order of what I did. Um the Camel Crusher, I was just I was just experimenting with some of the the new VSTs I downloaded. Um so this is what I came up with. This is what it sounds like at first and then I'm going to play um it with Camel Crusher, so. You can't really hear a big, huge difference in them, but um, if you do listen to them into the the Dre's, you can actually hear that there is a little bit of a, a distortion going on there, and it actually adds a bit of an effect to the drums. Um, and I'm gonna add a reverb to it as well. So here's what it is so far. Without the reverb, it's just. I I feel like the reverb really affects the hi hats the most because I feel like the drums and the snare. Um, could do okay without a reverb, but it's the hi hats that just feel unnatural without the reverb. So this is what. It gives it the effect that this person's playing the drum set in like a garage or something, you know, some warehouse or some something like that. Um, so I just thought that would, that'd be a really cool effect to add to the drums. So um, next thing I usually do is add a compressor. Um, and that's just to to uh, tighten up the drum sounds, um, so it's not all over the place. And I add it, I EQ last after I do the compression because if you EQ first and then you do the compression, it's gonna kind of put your drums out of whack. Um, so here's what it is without the compression. And with the compression. Yeah, so when you add the EQ, it I I my EQ levels I've raised uh, the low the low end of things and uh, I really just left the rest done. Um, I, I left the rest the same. Um, this is merely for the 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 fact that I like my drums being I like my drums to hit hard. So I'm 
and that's that's the drums right there for you. Um, so move on to group D, which is this 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 little this little bell computer effect, which is a stock sound of machine. Here's what it sounds like. And with the metaverb, which I told you is one of my favorite. And then here's what you get when you add them all together. And that's what you have. Um, so basically, let me go over how to load a sample or an effect onto um, your, your your project. Um, one of the things I do like to do, um, I've been recently messing with it, was adding an effect to the master um, just to give it a cool little feel. So let me take this compressor off. Basically, it's really easy. If you do it from the software, all you really have to do is hit this down arrow and then just, you know, add it. It's very simple. All you have to do is add it. Here, your, Here's where your plugins are going to be. Um, you can add a flanger to the whole thing. That's basically all that all there is to it adding effects I'm gonna go into detail about what each, what each effect does in a later tutorial um, so definitely stay tuned for that if that's what your what your question is um, next thing I want to show you guys is automation how to how to uh, how to you know automate some of these things so like this reverb for instance <laughs> me playing around with it for a little bit um, basically automation is something very simple all you have to do is play and then hit the auto write button and start twisting some knobs and it's going to add the modulation to um, your 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 beat so let's go ahead and play As you can see, um, I've I've modulated it. I'm not much. Sorry, I've um, I've automated it so it gets it gets the room size gets bigger at the end of the pattern. So let's listen to it again. And you can see that from these, you can see that from these uh, little triggers, whatever you want to call them. Um, basically, it tells you that what's being module uh, automated is the room size and um basically you could, you could edit it you can remove it all that good stuff so um this is this is really not something i do very often um i don't really uh automate i don't really use auto write but just know that it's there if you want that mic will effect where you have um a you have a filter on your master which i have not been able to do i don't know what's going on with it but um you have a filter on your master and you want to mess with it like You can't do that currently on the master, not that I know of, but um, you can definitely hit up a group and definitely um, do that to a whole group. Um, so sorry, this has been so, it, this is more of you know a discussion, more of me showing you um, something that I like to do more than more so than a, a tutorial. Um, there's not really a lot to teach you about effects except for that there are several effects. Um, just go out there and test them all out until you find something you like. Um, so that's really that's really all there is to it. All there is to this episode. Um, all I can tell you is uh, definitely keep you know keep producing, um, keep using these effects. Send me what you guys have. I would love to hear what you guys are making after after watching my tutorials. Make sure I'm doing doing an okay job teaching you guys some stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's essentially um, the tutor tutorial. So 
Um, one thing I don't think I touched on, sorry, was that you can add effects to um, just a sound or you can add it to the whole group. Um, and then you can add it to the whole master, which is over the whole, every, all of these groups. Um, so that's something simple. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. This has been another tutorial. Um, and I hope you guys have learned something. Go out there and apply it. Thank you.